Well everyone, iOS 18 has officially came out and I wanted to go and take a look at it on the iPhone 11. Now iOS 18 has been a wild ride, there's been lots of highs, lots of lows, but right now this is what we're officially going to get. I did install the RC, which is basically what you're going to be getting on release day, and it's very interesting because this set they brought a lot of stuff to the table. That the last several versions of me installing it, you can see it went through a bunch of different iterations of the size, but by the time you officially install it, it's probably going to be around, I don't even know where it's, you know, screenshots it, but basically it's going to be around many, many gigabytes, so make sure you have that particular size saved before you go through and actually update your phone. Now, one of the coolest things we have inside of our new iPhone on iOS 18 is the home screen customizations. So now you have the capability of moving your applications wherever you want to on the display, so you can hold it down and move the app wherever you want to. I think a majority of people know that. But you can also click on the edit button up here, click on edit pages, and you can edit the amount of pages you have on your display right there, which is cool. But you can also click on customize and you can customize your icons. You can make them smaller or larger. And you can see kind of what else, you know, things you can kind of customize there too. It's really cool seeing it on the iPhone 11 because this is one of the oldest iPhones you can get on here. And it's funny because even some of these, you know, things that you can kind of tint here and there, it's really cool. I think it genuinely looks really, really nice and it kind of gives you some capability that you might have gotten on like a jailbroken iPhone back in the day. Now some other cool things we have here is that we have a new control center. I've modified this control center quite a bit now, but you have the capability of basically having several different pages within the control center. You can click on the plus button up here and you can now go ahead and add a you know control this way. So instead of going to the control center, you can change everything this way. And also you can click on the power button in the top right corner and hold it down if you want to to basically go through and power off your phone. So I think you can hold it down just like this. You can slide the power off your phone that way, which is genuinely so cool. Now, iMessage got lots of updates here too. So first of all, we now have RCS message support, which is really cool. You have tap backs that are now redesigned. You can schedule messages to send later. You can bold and strike through and so many more things in messages. And you have a lot more message effects there too, which is really, really cool. On top of that, we now have game mode. So what game mode allows you to do is it allows you to go ahead and have a dedicated mode where whenever you're playing games inside of your iPhone, it will now kind of increase the speed in some games and kind of give you better latency or less latency in certain games for your controllers and stuff, which is a really, really cool thing. One another really cool thing is that we have the ability of locking an application. So now you can go and hold down on an app. You can require a passcode for that app or require face ID. That's another really cool thing that we have here. And we now have our passwords application too, which is a ded dedicated passwords app that is now built in inside of our iPhone. And it you know, looks really nice on an iPhone 11 as well. So there's a lot of cool things too. We have the photos app that's redesigned, lots of cool things across the board. But overall, iOS 18 on the iPhone 11 has been a ride, but here we are. And this is basically what you're going to be getting on day one. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. The like button helped me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.